the situation before is we lived in a house and okay it, it was okay it was fairly big but the problems we had is a Oliver mainly being in a wheelchair um, and having problems with legs and stuff so it was literally mainly carrying him up and down stairs all the time and he has focal seizures which um, are really bad which make him look like he's having a stroke and things like that lifting him in and out of the bath because obviously we only had a bath with a shower in it and obviously you can't always use the seat to put you know swing him on and do things and it was literally trying to get him up and down the stairs because when he's having a bad day you can't even coax him to crawl up or do anything else like that it makes it so it relies on you um, and we couldn't have a lift put in because we'd lose a bedroom we couldn't lose a bedroom because of my other child and his needs and we couldn't um, have a stair lift put in because of obviously all the difficulties surrounding Oliver's health it wasn't safe to put a stair lift in I've come into the story quite far quite near the end um, I took over the case and attended the um, child and need meeting um, where um, Amanda was at the end of her tether, things had got worse, um, Oliver's health had deteriorated quite considerably. Um, I was aware of the family and the issues um, and I had spoken to our development team um, because I know that there's a very uh, large shortage of three bedroom bungalows. There just isn't the provision locally and I knew that Man Amanda needed to stay um, in the Evesham Town Centre um, for Edward um, to be able to carry on going to college um, and to be familiar with the surroundings um, and for Oliver obviously because he goes to Vale she, he, she needs to be, be close to that school as well um, so I'd spoken to the de development team to see if they had any proposed um, new builds coming up in the area because that's the only way I could think of of getting them a three bed bungalow so they didn't have anything that they had planned but they did tell me that there was a property um, in Hampton that was being considered to be sold um, so I quickly spoke to Juliana before it was put on the market and asked her if she would consider this family for this property. Um, she gave me the keys and said, go and have a look and see if you think it would be suitable. It had to be the case where Oliver was on one floor. We could have a wet room. We have the space for the equipment, we've still got more equipment coming, his health is not going to get better, we've always been told it's going to get worse. We found out a few things we didn't want to find out and we sat in a meeting with a group of professionals and we discussed it and it was the first time ever I've ever broke down and said the reality of it is, is this, this is going to get worse, it's not going to improve and his mobility, they want to do operations later on and it will mean that we need the carers in to turn him and do things because where his mobility is concerned it will cause paralysis if we do it wrong so then obviously that takes out the need of a lift because of obviously jerking or can't put him on a stair lift and obviously with the seizures focal seizures I've just been told uh, resemble like he's having a stroke and then he loses he can paralyze the one side of the body for 24 to 48 hours um, he also has lost um, part of his brain usage and there's just so many medical problems and luckily for me Becky has been in the meetings she took on board what every professional had to say and luckily for me she worked really really hard and she found me a place that is just even in the weeks I've been here has made such dramatic change it has made a change for the rest of my life and we just couldn't believe how perfect it was for the family. Um, Edward and Amanda had their own rooms upstairs, um, they could have their own space, and Oliver had a perfect room downstairs, provision for a wet room. It was just a no-brainer, really. So we did go to the meeting, which was that same day, um, knowing that in the back of our minds that there was this property. We didn't tell the family about the property because we needed to put a report forward in order to gain property for them. Um, but we did say there might be the possibility of a property. Um, so reports were written um, and we were able finally to secure the property for the family. And first time I brought Amanda to come and see it, she was absolutely over the moon. She couldn't believe that we were considering it for her and it had been approved for her to, to move in. 
um, and came back a few times with her. Um, I think just to get, get it to settle in and on one of those occasions um, both Oliver and Edward came to view the property and that was the first time ever I've seen Oliver smiling and laughing and running around. He looked so happy and we knew then that it was the perfect property for them. It will make it so much easier, like the carer can now stay. I can now have that round the clock care when and if I need it, which is we know is going to happen. We're going to have the wet room downstairs so that he, he hasn't got the problem of trying to lift him, carry him upstairs or anything else like that. He's on one level. Everywhere is accessible through a wheelchair. We can have the equipment in. We've got the space to store all the equipment now. Whereas before, we had no space. It means the world to me. Um, it makes the job worth, I mean, a housing officer job can be quite taxing. Don't get me wrong, I love being a housing officer, but those few occasions when you can do something that's perfect for a family, that makes those tough times worthwhile. Relief. The relief was just like, as, as though everything had been lifted off my shoulders. To see Oliver laugh, giggle, content, being able to put him to bed and know that I haven't got to carry him upstairs. It didn't matter if he had a seizure or not, that I could put him to bed, I could still see him, I could still do everything that he needed was everything to me. It was just like, oh, I haven't had to carry him upstairs. This is lovely, my back's not hurting so much today. And it was just like, right, if he does this, it's okay, because I'm near him, I can deal with it. I haven't got to keep running up and down stairs. I haven't got to, all the additional pressure was all lifted. And I found myself sleeping better, and he has started sleeping better, which in eight years has never happened. My job is to make life okay for people to make life comfortable make sure that they've got the right accommodation for their needs that's my job so when people say you've done more than your job I, I never think that I have because that is my job is to make sure people are in suitable accommodation that's what housing officer job is <laughs>